Hi, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about a very important topic that is indications for removing silver fillings, also known as amalgam fillings. So the first indication is if the filling is not in a good condition, for example, if there are cracks or fractures within the restoration, there's a strong indication that the amalgam filling should be removed. Or if there is inadequate embrasure form or in inadequate curvature or inadequate proximal contact with the adjacent tooth. For example, here the amalgam filling, it is over contoured and it is down it is causing damage to the soft tissues. So in this case also, either the filling it is recontoured or it is removed and a new restoration is placed. Another important indication is decay or secondary care, also known as secondary caries adjacent or beneath the filling. For example, in this picture, there is secondary caries or, a, a, or decay beneath the amalgam restoration. So in this case, the existing amalgam restoration, it is removed and, the, and this caries, it is also removed and a new restoration, it will be placed. So these are some allergic reactions that occur because of metals or mercury that is present within the dental amalgam and that also strongly indicate that the amalgam's filling must be removed and replaced with some other restorative material. The American Food and Drug Administration Authority clearly states that if the filling is in good condition and the dentist or the dental care professional says that there is no decay beneath the filling or the filling it is in sound condition, removal of the amalgam filling it is not recommended. So the removal of the amalgam filling it is not indicated just on the basis of the color or aesthetic reasons. So. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you have any feedback, please write it down in the comments below. Again, thank you and stay blessed always.